green, yellow, and red. These are the colors used to help students at Marie Sharp recognize and regulate their actions. It's based on just four zones, and so it simplifies um, the emotions that we experience, the whole range of emotions that we experience, and identifies just four major ones. And so we're looking at the sadness in the, in the blue zone, and we're looking at happiness in the green zone. The yellow zone is where you're starting to feel agitated or frustrated, and of course the red zone would then be the, the zone where people are angry and, and uh, where their emotions is very elevated. And then what we're looking for eventually is to you know, build a toolbox so when you're in a zone which is expected or unexpected, that you have some tools in your toolbox to bring you back down to a more manageable zone. It's called the Zones of Regulation program and by giving students these tools, it will not only reduce negative behavior, but also aid in preventing bullying. It is a bullying prevention program because we are teaching health, healthy relationships, um, healthy eating. You know, just maintaining that healthy disposition fosters a, um, an environment, a nurturing environment where it's easy to learn. It's pretty concrete and if I say, okay, now we all need to be in the green zone, they're learning what that is so that they're focused and ready to learn. Marie Sharp started integrating this program in October and while it was offered to only a select number of students at first, it quickly expanded. We started actually with um, focusing on our uh, most vulnerable kids that had behavioral issues in the classroom um, and that seemed to work with those, those students. But when they went back into the classroom, they knew all the vocabulary and the language behind the zones and the other kids in the classroom um, didn't know the language so they were weren't kind of able to support those kids further, right? So we decided as a, as a staff that we should go into the classrooms and teach this um, to, to the entire class. Because I'm a big believer in whatever works for your most vulnerable students is going to work for all of your students. I have seen, yeah, it's going and they can recognize zones. And if I say, you know, I'm in the yellow zone or I'm in the green zone, then they can, I think it's just really concrete and it gives them something that they can base themselves on. Today, students like Ms. Fennell's grade 3 class learn their zones of regulations inside and outside of the classroom all school year. If we do it all year, then the kids, it becomes part of their, their, um, their being, it becomes part of their practice. And so practicing every day just allows them to expect that every day. They expect that sort of behavior from everybody, it's just not hit one time. It's expected behavior throughout the school and so every day they know what to expect. Sometimes you have to teach stuff 50 times before they get it. So one shot deal in one day, but this is over and over again. So it just sort of becomes part, becomes a habit. Um, I get on the announcements and ask the, the students, you know, the staff member that's up on the board, what zone are they in? And so kids are going to the board. They're quite excited about it. Go to the board, <laughs> um, figure that out, and they come down and tell me. I put a little bit of a reward in it for the first couple that come down to the office but now kids are just talking to me just because they want to let me know they know which zone that the staff member is in. And the program is only getting bigger. I had a PAC member shared a story where she was frustrated with her daughter because they weren't cleaning up after themselves and, and her daughter went to her and said, Mom, are you in the yellow zone? And then she started asking her daughter more about the Zones of Regulation program. And so that conversation is happening at home too. And, and that's the ultimate goal is to get the conversation out to you know, beyond the walls of the school, out to, to um, parents, and also out into the community. Teachers are hoping programs like the Zones of Regulations will not only help their students in learning, but also promote positive attitudes in the school system.